ahora que nuestros eh, amigos y compañeros del FUT se han ido, eh, el Teatro Taller de Colombia continúa su vida, continúa trabajando, eh, poniendo en práctica los conocimientos que adquirió eh, durante el mes mmm, que estuvimos eh, trabajando conjuntamente por, por Colombia. Nos han quedado muchas experiencias. Eh, una de ellas es el factor humano, eh, la integración de los dos grupos durante un mes por las diferentes regiones de Colombia. ¿sí? Eh, hemos conocido más eh, nuestra realidad, eh, nuestra gente. Le hemos mostrado a, a este grupo europeo eh, un parte de Colombia. Hoy nos visita el Food Farm Traveling Theater. Y sí, es una de las mejores noticias culturales, ¿no? Bien, desde la ciudad de Bogotá ha hecho un intercambio con el Teatro mm, Taller de Colombia, que es un teatro callejero y al parecer ha tenido un rotundo éxito en la capital de la República. Aquí en Caracol le estamos dando la gran bienvenida y estamos invitando lógicamente pues al público cartagenero, al público de nuestro país que se haya en esta capital, al norte del Caribe colombiano, para que mañana viernes y pasado sábado acudamos a los sitios donde se van a presentar. En esta ocasión se ha escogido un sitio público de, tran, de gran tradición en la ciudad de Cartagena. Se trata del Parque de la Marina, donde los artistas franceses estarán dando a conocer su representación teatral y donde además charlarán en un posterior foro con los asistentes. Así es que bienvenidos nuestros hermanos franceses a la ciudad de Cartagena, que es patrimonio histórico y cultural de la humanidad y que en esta ocasión se encuentra con brazos abiertos porque estamos celebrando conjuntamente el quinto centenario del descubrimiento de América. I think always the important thing is to actually see a country that one hears so much about. I mean, the same when we went to Russia, the things you hear and the reality are so far apart. Our teacher read a, a sort of standard book on Colombia from W. H. Smith, which virtually said, don't talk to anyone, don't trust anyone. If they're friendly to you, it means that they will be too friendly. I mean, this is rubbish. Don't worry about it. 
¿Por qué? Porque no. No. Porque esta noche en Carpa. ¿Estás feliz en Colombia? Sí, verdad. Muy feliz. La gente son muy amable, como, como tú, como este, este pueblo. Muy amable. ¿Cómo te llamas? Omar Martín. Omar Martín. Felipe. Me espera para ver nuestro espectáculo. Voy a esperar. Un... Claro, claro, ojo. Ojo. A ver. Pero ahora se presenta. Estamos eh, esperando. Se presenta a Taller de Colombia o se presentan ustedes. De fútbol normalmente tenemos trabajo en, en, en un, eh, una carpa, en un teatro. Eh, ellos hacen, normalmente hacen cosas de, en las calles. Entonces eh, tenemos, queremos hacer cosas en común. Entonces es un, queremos hacer un, un, um, un espectáculo en, en las calles. Porque no, no, no estamos acostumbrados. We talked a lot before, you know. There's a lot of preconceptions about Colombia. And the first thing, well, I'd already learned this, but it confirmed that you should never listen to anything anyone says about a country because it's the stories you hear of violence and aggression are just none of us have experienced it. The people, the real people are very gentle people. And of course, the violence comes from the class system and the corruption which is to do with the wealth the unequal wealth it's not it's not to do with the nature of the people we talk a lot about violence you know in the guidebooks but i've never been threatened with any violence here ever i've never even received um, a bad vibration from anybody an official a policeman or someone in the street i've never had any problems You know, you know what you hear about Colombia in Europe. All you hear is, uh, is and, and uh, I haven't seen any of the. Seen some of the. Whoops! I never ever got um, hassled, you know, by this or beggars. One sees a lot, a lot of beggars as well. The contrast is very strong, I guess, between rich and poor. Bueno, que en realidad si sí, la gente del, del exterior, la gente que viene aquí de visita como turismo, eh, se, se pasara por estos barrios, en vez de ir a la ciudad amurallada, donde vive la gente de, de dinero, los ricos, se darían de cuenta que en este país hay bastante miseria todavía. Y no, no es como quieren hacerlo parecer por allá, que los colombianos vivimos bien, no. El 90% de los colombianos estamos pasando necesidades en todos los aspectos. Frente a la escuela de techo rojo, función gratuita del Teatro Taller de Colombia para que vaya todo el mundo con su familia. Absolutamente gratuita a las 5 de la tarde, Teatro Taller de Colombia, el inventor de sueños. Hoy domingo, un regalo a las 5 de la tarde frente a la escuela de techo rojo, el inventor de sueños, entrada gratuita a las 5 de la tarde con los mejores actores de la televisión colombiana.
But he, here is, is like the realization of the, the project. For me, personally, the, for my, the, speaking from the soul, when I came to this uh, village before, looking at sites for shows, I had an, a picture. This was two months ago. And now today, the, the realization to see these people who have really nothing, who are given something from the theater. Presenciar el espectáculo más grandioso de los últimos tiempos. El que le ha dado la vuelta al mundo. Hace muchos, muchos años, por allá por la boquilla, nació un peladito feo. Sus padres horrorizados lo dejaron abandonado en las puertas de nuestra casa. Nosotros. nosotros crazy country the whole tour is crazy but I think everybody should be crazy I think to do this all together and make the encounter with Colombia has been a wonderful experience to, to remember but it's not good it's not bad it, it's just crazy <laughs> Ha hecho gritar a más de uno, 
pues para los colombianos residentes en Francia es una alusión que más bien parece una agresión. Y el propio embajador reconoce que a él también el tema lo dejó helado. La circunstancia de que se pondere el café, el café colombiano, pero en medio de, una, de un, uh, unos soldados que van por un jeep, pues hace una imagen de violencia para Colombia. El DAS y la Policía Internacional tratan de establecer hasta ahora por qué parte del país entraron tres containers con fusiles AK-47 para la guerrilla colombiana. A última hora se supo que este arsenal venía de Europa por vía marítima. El jefe del DAS, Fernando Brito, le reveló hoy a Cuape que la Coordinadora Nacional Guerrillera utilizó las negociaciones en México para introducir un voluminoso arsenal proveniente de Europa y con escala en algún país centroamericano. El armamento entró a Colombia el mes anterior, al parecer por un puerto del Pacífico, y según el jefe del DAS, un narcotraficante del Valle realizó la negociación. El Teatro Taller de Colombia y el Fútbol de Europa abren su carpa desde hoy al público para que viva una inigualable historia de amor como sueño de una noche de verano del más grande dramaturgo de todas las épocas, Shakespeare. Hoy viernes nos presentamos con un gran desfile para que venga todo el público de Cartagena con los niños, va a haber gente en zancos, monigotes, los payasos del Fútbol que son muy buenos, música, violines, eh, bueno y otras sorpresas. sueño, realmente ese ha sido como el sueño de una noche de verano, porque hace cuatro años yo, yo creía que era imposible que, que este proyecto se convirtiera en realidad. Muy buena, muy buena la obra de teatro, muy buena. ¿De Chespi? Muy buena. I don't know, it's, it's this ready and it's okay. Lo que yo temía era que pues, un grupo en Inglaterra, eh, es posible que todo funcione por, como una compañía, la frialdad de una compañía. No, 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 aquí hay como más, más ese, ese tratamiento, de, ese tratamiento más, más humano que, que tienen los grupos, ¿no? It is a real encounter, it's still going on. Uh, really before we arrived we knew nothing of what we were coming to. And I think the group sometimes it leaves itself this open because nothing is certain in our existence. So in a way one orphan even doesn't believe or ex expect anything. And then it is a genuine encounter, the thing happens as it happens. The early days in Bogota were fairly uh, extraordinary, trying to technically and physically adjust to something very different. Things promised to us 
technically weren't there. We had to to virtually build the theatre from nothing. The first night there was a riot in the tent, which two or three hundred people outside screaming, people inside started shouting, we thought it's because they didn't like us after only five minutes. It was a, uh, an extraordinary situation because when we started to talk with the public and find out the reason that it was just frustration and anger against the organisers, and I think it took us about an hour to to get through this problem. Instead of shouting at us, shout at them and talk to them. And then we started the play again and played and then finally, of course, I mean, it was to be remembered. It's so many contrasts, um, but my favourite moment... It's too many, it's too many. It was great running out in front of 55,000 people at the football going, yeah! Yeah, it was great sitting on a canoe you know, drinking out of coconut, coco loco. <laughs> You know, it's the stress because people think being on the stage is a laugh, you know, fantastic. Oh, I'd like to do that. But, excuse me, you got my cigarette. But in fact, it's, it's very hard work. It's not on stage that's the hard work. It's in fact all the bits in between. Climbing up mountains, swimming in the sea, eating a lot of fish every day. I mean, my stomach can't take it, so I have to take heavy medication now. This is why I'm depressed. We wanted to do it with the Capitol, the tour here, because it's an actual reality. We have the habit of traveling in the Capitol for 15 years. We know well that the space is... We can have a very public, very large, very different. We have the rich, the poor, Il y a des gens qui viennent parce qu'ils pensent que c'est le cirque et pas le théâtre. Et comme ça, nous sommes plus proches d'un public. Estamos rodeados, Peter! 
They're all very small. <laughs> Proceed, bastards! Thank you. In the years from 71 to 76, we worked in Cornwall in the south of England, where theatre was not known. There was no theatre group and no tradition of theatre. And we learned our way of working and having uh, contact and being understood by the audience in, in those days working on uh, old stories of Cornwall and working outside in the um, village greens or we worked in the pubs or schools and we learned through that, that work I guess how to approach Shakespeare from our way and that was pretty free we just took Shakespeare as a story and entered into the story and tried to tell this story to the people. We just do it how we feel it within the group and which then turns out to be quite popular, popular theatre. Meddling monkey or busy. 
We've had more kids here, more children, especially in Cartagena. We had a lot of children uh, in the tent. And so it's been a lot, it's been a lot more mobile. I mean, because the kids move around all the time, they're running all over the place. And uh, so you get a little bit of pantomime in it as well. I mean, I've scared a couple of kids, which I, I like scaring kids. And uh, much noisier audience, because when you have an audience that doesn't really understand the language totally, they tend to talk all the way through the, the show. So you have to deal with that as well as the airplanes and the, and the traffic. But I, I was always surprised that they said, at the end of the show, they always seem to have a very spontaneous uh, response to it. So I don't know what, I think I've said it before, I don't know what the hell they, they make of it all, or what they think we're doing, but there must be some impression that, uh, that they have of it. Yo desde mi juventud he amado la literatura, y he leído a Shakespeare una y otra vez, y jamás creí que en el teatro se pudiera transmitir lo que Shakespeare hizo en sus obras porque creo que el lenguaje de él es bellísimo y nunca pensé que la barrera del idioma se pudiera superar en la forma que los actores lo hacen. Siempre he soñado con, con esto de, de, de la locura de volver a, a lo que es el teatro en sí, la, 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 eh, donde el público hace el teatro, donde el actor incita al teatro, donde todos hacemos el teatro. <risa> Bottom, bottom, no, bottom. <laughs> Not bad at all. <laughs> bottom. Para mí es sensacional. Te repito, es una catarsis completa. Es espectacular. Jugaron supremamente bien con las imágenes. Hicieron un montaje tremendísimo. Es como como esa esencia del teatro. Okay. Okay. It's an old pagan English ritual and it's a fertility ritual. Normally danced by virgins around the pole, but we don't have many virgins, do we, Masha? <laughs> and we do it every year to keep the weather good and the bad spirits away. Lo que más me gusta de la obra del Pink Bob es empezando casi desde el espacio que ellos brindan al público, el circo. Es algo muy cercano a nosotros que se ha perdido. El fútbol vuelve y lo rescata y nos sentimos muy bien. Um, the early days of Futsbarn weren't quite the same as this because actually it was colder and wetter. When we first toured in Cornwall, which is the region we originated in, our very early tours, which we did in the summer, which we called the May Tour, we used to play outdoors and live in tents. Well, in fact, first few years, one tent, all of us, which was quite exciting. And then as uh, time developed, we, in 1975, we bought our first tent, about the same size as this one, and started to work very similar to a circus. Uh, we're continuing that now, it's a little bit grander. Whenever we see the, the genuine article, it's always uh, an experience. Vamos a comenzar el espectáculo ya. Sí, vamos a comenzar. Ya, bien. La vida del circo, una parte es, es buena y, y otra parte es dura. La cuestión de que ahí llegamos a pueblos que nos va mal. 
en un pueblo y en otro pueblo pues nos va bien y así seguimos la vida del circo vamos a mandarle un fuerte aplauso a la misa que presente vamos a mandarle un fuerte aplauso a been transported, Peter. This is not the forest of art. We'll try and go down, but if we keep breathing through the straws, we'll probably survive. Help! I've lost my life support system. W would you like me to come over and help you, Peter? If you wouldn't mind. You've broken it. <laughs> my life support system's just gone, Peter. Oh. Daily life is... Uh, we, I get more and more used to it as, uh, as time goes along. I mean... Uh, When I first, uh, but also every town's completely different. Bogota's completely different from the next place. We're supposed to be still in the same country. It doesn't feel like it. This place is all sea and sunshine and all that stuff. And the other Bogota is like a windy city somewhere else. <laughs> There's a sort of laziness in Colombia. Sometimes Colombian people worry about it to me when they talk to me. They say, oh, we're too lazy and stuff like that. But for me, I, I, I think we need much more laziness in the world, much more uh, relaxed. Uh, des descans descanso, no, it's, and not being cool, like in America, not being uh, outside the experience, completely within the experience of life, but uh, relaxed within it, even if you don't have uh, a single peso in your pocket, and even if you've got a million pesos in your pocket, it is possible to be relaxed at the same time. Whereas in Europe, in the streets of mont and, uh, and uh, in France and Germany and England, it, You, you cannot do this. You, you pay to do this. It's been interesting. It's the first time uh, I've ever been involved in this kind of thing. 
I've always thought that this sort of thing's bullshit, you know, a meeting between two theatre groups, because theatre groups op actually operate completely differently. And um, when you've got a group that works in Bogota in Colombia and a group that works in Europe, I mean, they're completely different uh, things. But I think the main thing has been travelling together. It's been useful for us to see them every day and to have Colombian people like you as well, uh, around us, to actually relate to, rather than just be ourselves in a little island. Eugenio Baba, who is an inspiration for uh, Taya, calls uh, theatre groups a floating island. It's a small island of uh, people with an idea who travel all over the world and keep themselves very much to themselves. And uh, so Taya has opened up this island for us. I mean, not theatrically. Uh, theatrically, it has been worthwhile. But that's not, it's not only the work, it's the, the life to actually, to actually come here. This is fantastic. It's a fantastic experience for a, for a boy from London <laughs> to be here. It's wonderful. <laughs> this is like a dream, the water here and everything. It's very... It's, um, it's a sensual pleasure as well as being a cultural uh, pleasure. seen it in London, it's really too much. And the glue sniffing, a oh, bad problem, man. really bad problem, really bad. But that, it's in El Mundo.
la respuesta de, de los niños, de la comunidad, sobre todo de comunidades que nunca han tenido este tipo de contacto con, con el arte, ¿no? Y me parece que la respuesta fue positiva. Eh, sobre todo los niños se cantaron mucho la historia. Eh, me tocó escuchar un diálogo de tres niños cuando mataron al pájaro, como dicen ellos. Y el uno le decía al otro que el, los que cantaban estaban tristes y estaban llorando porque habían matado al pájaro. ¿sí? Es, decir, es como una manera de darse cuenta de que hay que proteger a los animales. Creo que ese fue el, el, el mensaje que ellos recibieron, la, la enseñanza. Porque desafortunadamente por estos contornos eh, la naturaleza no es muy bien tratada por parte de la gente. Right, I'll just turn the candle up a little bit. Then this is a marvelous and convenient place for our rehearsal. This green plot shall be our stage. And that bush shall be our timing house. And we shall do our rehearsals in action as we shall do it before the Duke of the Duchess and the Royal Wedding. The gentleman Duchess. Oh, Peter. Right, Ned? come to an end and we hope you the audience we did not offend if you liked our play and you were not bored please put the hands together and we applaud And it's also very sad because it's the last time. It's moving, a very moving feeling for us all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go for a bit. I have to ask another question. Sorry. <laughs> We're leaving tomorrow morning, and we don't have a container. We don't. <laughs> we don't have a truck. Uh, but like most things in Colombia, it'll come together. It seems to happen that way. Really like happy, you know, happy end in the Hollywood film it was something mystery, mystery. Just to catch the tears that drop from my eyes. 